Welcome to 13 Hour Time 62 Lego Set Reviews. This is set number 7648, the MT21 Mobile Mining Unit. Ages 7 to 12, 130 pieces. Retails for $9.99, a pretty good value um, for a set like this, even just looking at it. This is also released in 2008 as part of the Mars Mission theme, which ran for two years. Let's take a look at our minifigures. The first one we have is an astronaut. He's a very basic figure, no name. He's got lots of detail on the back, where it has an oxygen tank, even has a gauge on there. And you also see he has some jacket printing on the front. The only thing that changes between the astronauts in this series, in this theme, are the faces. And you, sometimes you can't see them because this visor gets in the way. This uh, face in particular has been used a couple times in Mars Mission for different sets. It has also been used in the LEGO Sports series in 2002. Next up we also have an alien in the set. This is the basic alien from Mars Mission. Um, again, it doesn't really have a name because they're all the same. And this one in particular has a buildable jack uh, jetpack that goes into their torso. He has an energy crystal in there used as a power source. You just put it right through him. I hope he doesn't mind. And it works. It just stays. He is glow in the dark. Um, his arms, legs, head... Basically, all the appendages do not move independently. He's made up of two pieces, legs and torso and head, and can just move back and forth like this. You'll see in some of the other Mars mission sets how he sits and operates machinery. So that's your alien. Next up, that's the basic model of the set. Or not the basic model, the uh, the small model of the set. We'll go to the basic model in just a sec. Here we have the instruction manual. Very basic. We got a lot of green in the background for Mars mission or uh, energy crystals. There's a couple stickers in here. We don't have any numbered bags, considering the different parts in this set. It also shows you all the accessories minifigures, uh, different parts, and each of their functions on here. It also shows you in the back uh, some of the sets as they're put together and battling each other. It even has a list of some of these sets in, the se in this theme for 2008 in that wave up to the summer. And then your standard stuff in the back. So one nice instruction manual for this set. This set comes apart in a couple different ways. We're going to get to each of them one by one. We're going to start with the fact that you can pull them apart on this ball and joint. We're going to start with this part. This is the main rover, which operates everything. You have them just sitting in there. You can pull the cockpit up and down. We have some stickers here, 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 here. Here, we'll get to that soon. Here, here, and here. So a total of nine stickers on this model alone. It's a lot to take care of. And some of them are precise, especially along these pieces and in this piece. Basically every piece, except for that sticker. That could be adjustable. So we got a lot in here for stickers. Kind of a downside to the set. But if you do it right, it looks great. And when we open this up on the inside, we get to see the, some lab information. They have um, analyzing studies of aliens. I don't know how it fits in there because the alien itself can't fit in there. Unless we do it at the end, we can figure out. It also shows you energy crystals, how the energy levels go. And you also have a place in here, I'll take off the top, shows you, you can fit one energy crystal in there. You could probably store more loosely. So we'll close these up, we also have a walkie talkie on this side. It's a very, very cool model. The wheels also move freely, they're from classic space themes. 
We also get a satellite on the top and a takeoff rocket in case somebody attacks. And they show it on the cover that it spins around and tries to go towards the alien on the jetpack. The next part I'll show you in a demonstration. You come along, you stop somewhere to mine because you're, you're either having a mining set or a defense set when it comes to the vehicles. So you lift these stickers on both and place them down. This will keep the model in um, stable condition. Then you can lift this up, go to wherever you need to drill, because you can actually turn this. Fun fact, first use in Bionicle, then in Alpha Team. And then when you're done mining, you can put it away like so. I like to keep it like this because it'll keep it out of the way of the other parts of the set. You also have on the other side of this a chainsaw and a robot. This is able to clip off from the back of the set. You can ride it around. It has a little orange wheels on it and another sticker. And you can ride this around collecting the energy crystals because he only has one arm. So what else is he going to do? Plus he's a small robot so he can't mine or anything with that kind of size. So he comes around collecting energy crystals, takes them back to the lab he can, and where we can analyze them in the machine and keep them stored, bring them back to base. So I am really happy with this set for $10. It's got a lot of functions, but however, it also has a lot of stickers. And once you can get past putting all the stickers onto this set, you, um, you can handle this pretty well. Because it's got a nice size. It's, it's a really nice because not only is it a mining set. I, I said, you know, you can have a mining set or you have a defense set. This one has a mining set. This one has a mining component while it also has a, a, um, a lab component, which is interesting because there aren't many mobile labs um, in space things nowadays. But what I'm going to do real quick, I wanted to see if you could fit an alien inside of here. So it does involve taking apart the set, but I'm still going to talk to you. I think this uh, set has a lot of really good features in it. It also has... Oh, so you can fit them in there, as you can see. Hold on, let me just get the pieces on. So, it has a lot of really cool features to it. It's got... Um, it's got now storage for an alien. If you fit him in here, you can see his feet out there. It's got lots of really cool wheels. However, the wheels may keep its turning ability a little bit off, yeah. but I'm sure you could customize it a little bit, move it around, and you can still have fun with it. Um, it's a nice model to send out on the go when you have a mining team. So, I really recommend this set in a Mars mission theme. It's a, it's a small set, but it's got a lot of action packed into it, and it should you know, be very helpful for your space theme. Even if it's not all Mars mission, if it's just a space theme, it's very cool for um, for all the things you get in this. And the jetpack for the alien is cool. It's probably the smallest model that has been made for an alien in any Mars mission set. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see any other 